Welcome! Today we're going to be bonding two different types of material with zip liquid flash. And for us, our two materials are zip board across the bottom and then a black tar particle board across the top. To start off with, we're going to prep our surface. For us, we are going to run tape across the soffit and then about three inches down across the bottom of our seam. So that way you don't get any liquid flash where we don't want to go. Because if you get it on that soffit or get it somewhere else you don't want it, like on a window, it is not easy to get off because it sticks and it sticks well. Which is good, but only where we want it. And then also, if you have any gaps that are larger than I would say like the thickness of a nickel, you want to make sure to use a backer rod or spray foam to fill in those gaps. Because if you don't, your liquid flash is going to go right into that seam and then right in behind the wall and liquid flash isn't cheap. So if you fill it up, you won't waste your material. So once your wall material is prepped, we obviously need to get our gun ready to apply. So you'll unscrew that cap, stick the sausage of the liquid flash material inside. Then you will take your X-Acto knife or blade and cut off the end so that the material can come out. Reattach mm -hmm. your tip well, and your gun is pretty much ready to go. So now it is time to apply our product, and there's really no one way to do it. One of the ways I did find that worked well was creating a zigzag where you're having maybe an inch above your gap and an inch below in the zigzag pattern. So tracing that across your seam and then actually running a full bead across the seam as well. Once you have that pattern set, setting your gun down, you're gonna take some kind of applicator or um, smooth edge that fits into the area you are needing it to and just kind of running it along there sealing and smoothing down all of the material across the seam. You want to make sure that the seam is definitely filled, that there aren't any little holes or bubbles that are forming, and that you do get a good application above and below the seam on those other materials. Now that our seams are sealed, it is time for cleanup, which is also an important step. You want to make sure that you get your tape removed off of your walls and soffits so that the liquid flash doesn't adhere to them. So once their tape is removed, the wall is pretty much ready to go for curing. We do want to make sure that we empty out our gun. So again, a really simple process. You're going to have your tube, which is already pushed all the way to the end. You'll just unscrew that cap and inside you'll find a little disc where the whole tube has been smashed together. You can just remove the tube and throw that away. Um, any of the liquid flash that is still inside of the tip of the applicator, you don't actually have to clean out. You can just let that dry and it will peel off once it is fully dry. So you'll be able to just peel it out of the, end, out of the tip, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. With that, we've now sealed together two dissimilar materials using zip liquid flash. And for us, that's a wrap. Tour! Tour.